Oh, that's me. Sorry. Uh, my name is Alan Cox. Thanks for being here. Say hi to Bill Squire, who's right over there. Hey, creepy hugs, everyone. Thanks for listening to and watching this episode of the Alan Cox Show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share cold one with the boys. And I also smell good. Oh, yeah? yeah? What do you got going on today? I got my hair cut today, and she just used a lot of stuff that makes my hair smell good. So, just a good... It doesn't look that cut. I was saying, well, you it's, kept it's, it real it's long. It's been long Yeah, I've been, I've been keeping it longer, but I just got it. Because like, the sides grow way faster than the top. Mm. So it's mostly the sides that get <laughs> like cut. Bozo the Clown after yeah, a while. Yeah, so <laughs> like, I have to... Cause, like, hey, kids! When I, when I went in this morning to get it cut, the sides were like morning hair. So they're just all like puffed out. And she's like, let me fix you. <laughs> And that was just what he wanted to hear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the most romantic thing he'd heard all day. Well, it was early. Uh, hey, Mary Santora is here, too. Hi, guys. No babies. I do not smell good. Oh, no? <laughs> no, I spent the morning getting the last of the stuff out of my apartment. So I've been moving mattresses and up and down stairs with air conditioning units, and mm-hmm. I am not. You didn't move any soap across your body at any point. Not today, no. Yeah. I'm, when I get home, I'll move soap on my body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Up and down those stairs, huh? That's what I call it. When I say to my wife, I'm going to go take a shower and go, I'm going to move some soap on my body. Some soap moving. I'll be back a little bit. And pound cake's back behind the glass. Afternoon, white people. And I got a letter from Melanie. She said, yesterday you guys talking about not farting in front of your partner... Brian's take on not allowing Mary to fart in front of him is super relatable to me, she says. I've been married to my husband for about eight years. We've been together for nearly 12, and we usually sleep ass to ass. Requiem for a dream style. Mm. And um, he'll give me grief all morning long because I just fart on him in my sleep. (laughs) Well, listen, I got to tell you, I don't know that I would tell my wife if she were sleep farting on me. I mean... Something she can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. I'm sure I do it. I'm not a particularly gassy guy in my waking hours, but I'm sure that there's some something happening there while I'm uh, deep asleep on the rare occasion that that happens. But, you know, if you're awake and the other person's asleep, it's not their fault. Mm-hmm. Why would you want to stick it to them when they wake up in the morning, bro? What, a great, way to, what a great way to start the day. <laughs> you say you open your eyes and they're just sitting up in bed staring at you. <laughs> Do you know what you've been doing? <laughs> How do you live with yourself? My How do sorry. I live with you? My ex-girlfriend was really just would let some gassers go. Which one was sleep. this? This is the most recent ex-girlfriend. I can't keep that, them straight. The Who one, was the... Oh, uh, she had her butthole on Instagram all yeah, the time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, And she would... Not, she wouldn't fart in front of me, but when we'd sleep... They'd just they'd come out. they out, and they were loud, and a lot of... Lot of Flappy butt cheeks. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, they're funny. I thought they were funny. But uh, yeah. a lot of flappy butt cheeks. Yeah. Wow! What do you think about that? I had um, several different women reach out to me after that last caller yesterday, Joe in Brunswick, who was like, "You shouldn't talk about farts because you're Hudson. cute." Joe Hudson. Or Hudson. Hudson and Joe and Hudson. Was. Yeah, he felt that Mary wasn't being appropriately dainty here on the <laughs> right. show. Right? Yeah. Because I talked as though about... he had never listened before. <laughs> right. To the show. I had mentioned an egg fart. Uh-huh. And he was very um, put off by that. Yes, he was put off. He was upset. Because he had an image of you, and 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 uh, it was ruining it for him. Yes. Yeah. I had a couple different women reach out to me, and they're like, oh, my fart smells so bad. Thank you for standing up to that guy. <laughs> I was oh just my like, God. I reached the stinky butt community. <laughs> That made me feel good. You now, know? I would like to draw... Uh, listen, you gals, let your freak flag fly, whatever it is. <laughs> but I would like to draw a distinction between audible and smelly, right? Oh, mine are If they're loud. really, really bad... They are bad. Please do something about your diet. It's not if the diet. Lo- it's always the diet. It's, I eat too if many eggs. I'm it's telling always, you. Well, what do you think that is? What do you think is going on with the eggs? <laughs> eggs are good for you, but I mean, they're going to, you know... I eat a dozen eggs a week. I eat like... But, Two to three eggs a day. Right, in your body. Cut back on the eggs. I, but I, what am I supposed to have for breakfast? Listen, I eat a lot of eggs. I don't have, like, Maybe I'm allergic, sulfur farts or something. Maybe I've been allergic something. this whole time. <laughs> Maybe you are. <laughs> but it is, even l- last night, Brian, my boyfriend, heard that call when I was telling him about it. And he goes, Those bad, they're really bad, though, babe. Like, that guy has a and point. And he's a vegan, right? Like, <laughs> vegetarian. He knows bad farts. Yeah, vegetarian. Yeah. But, um, but, yeah, I can't cut back on eggs. What am I supposed to eat for breakfast if I don't have eggs? 
Have some grains. Have no. some. Of course, that, won't, that won't help either. Uh, just, I don't know. Just go mostly um, ham, like you've been doing. I have ham. ham. It's lately the last. Have a week big or bowl two. of queso in the morning. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The last week or two, it's been a piece of wheat toast with avocado on it, and then some ham, and then an egg. And when you we'll s- just take the egg slice out. into it. No, that's a ham sandwich for breakfast. Who cares? I don't want to have a ham sandwich for breakfast. It's still a ham sandwich, even if there's an egg on it. But it's breakfast if there's an egg Just do what I do. Skip breakfast. I will not. Hmm. Last thing I want to do when I get up is eat. I'll be miserable on this show. I'm one of those people who gets very testy and bitchy when I'm hungry. Can't you eat lunch? But you eat right before the show. Yeah, I eat breakfast and I wake up. You're eating right before the show here. I eat at like 9, 9 or 10. It's the first thing I do. I wake up, I make a cup of coffee, I make breakfast. Like I don't do anything before I eat in the morning. Yeah. I eat within 30 minutes of being awake. And... um. So I eat and I'm done by like 10 o'clock. And then mm-hmm. when I come in here at 1.30, I'm hungry again. So then I eat and then I eat again at like 6 or 7 or 8 whenever wow, I get home. you're hungry three hours later. Yeah. Wow. Here's the thing. I eat to prevent hunger. So I'll start to feel myself getting hungry. And I know that I get very bitchy and on edge when I'm hungry. So I make sure that I eat so I don't turn into that person. Because hmm. I will snap at people. I get aggravated. Yell at strangers for no reason. That's not true. I like strangers. Yeah, well, I like strangers more than people I know in <laughs> right. most cases, sure. We don't have that baggage, you know, yeah. that I have with so many yeah. people that I know. Yeah. I couldn't tell you the last time I got hungry. I don't ever get hungry. It's like people go, make sure you drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I just know I'm going to drink some water. Yeah. I just know that. Mm-hmm. I'm not in the Mojave, right? I'm not <laughs> right. going to get dehydrated. I, I just have, have a feeling. Water. I have a feeling that my body will tell me when it's time to drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. um, so if you skipped breakfast but ate lunch, I would be pissy. That would sti- why is that? By the time well, two o'clock may- ran around or one oh, o'clock, I would you, be you in a ate, pretty though. bad mood. What do you mean? If you just- like you don't have a minimum number of meals you have to eat in a day. So if you skipped breakfast and just ate lunch, wouldn't that take care of the? Because the show is in the middle of the day, I have to plan my meals around this show. Mm-hmm. So if I were to eat at noon and skip my nine o'clock breakfast and just eat at noon i would be hungry come four or five and the last hour or two of the show would not be a pleasant experience you couldn't have some almonds or something or some blueberries i mean i'm sure that i could but it's it's just gonna piss me off that it's not a meal i'm gonna be aggravated you have to have a meal every time i'd be aggravated that i'm eating a handful of almonds you guys have seen me when i'm on a diet i'm not a nice person you're not that nice any other time either i'm not nice to you i'm nice to (laughs) you That's what I'm saying. I would like you to be eating constantly so you can be nice to me. So every time you eat, it has to be a meal. I would prefer it to be a meal. I see. But I also got in that habit because I had Invisalign. So I just pretty much in, took right. out snacking for two years. So every time I would eat, I'd eat a full it's gotta meal. It's got to be worth it. Yeah. Gotcha. So now I'm kind of just in that mode. You eat to prevent hunger, not because you are hungry. Hmm. I don't want to get hungry. I guess my thought is it would be a long time before you actually got hungry. Uh, a no. long time. It's it's your it's psychosomatic. Like you're like, oh, I'm getting hungry because you know when you eat. Mm-hmm. So your brain goes, you're getting hungry. You're really not. Yeah. You could go the entire day and not eat, and you wouldn't be physically hungry. Yes, you would. You, no, you would. You would. Your brain would tell you that you were angry because you hadn't eaten. That's different than being hungry. My stomach would growl. Be that like, doesn't Yo, mean that you're hungry. In, what would a stomach growl mean other than I'm empty? F- f- fill me up. Four eggs a day. You're creating sulfur and methane in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, growling and That's what the growling is. is the growling. What is the growling? Why is it growling? At rated R. All right, I, I got a break. Um, got some calls off of the after hours line to get to. We'll get to some letters as well. Uh, Kid Rock tickets for you later on. 35192. You want to text for anything, and we'll be back. The Alan Cox Show.